This is my morning walk to the event. It's about three tenths of a mile from where I'm staying. Little restaurants on the right here. And a fake wave straight ahead, marking the end of the road. This is the very end of the road on the west coast. You can't go any further. And that's where Choku is. Coming up on the left, the only restaurant in town that accepts credit cards. And had dinner in there the last two nights. All the, all the surfers were in there, maybe five or six both nights. Over here's the uh, the booth where you can get a t-shirt. It's about one one hundredth the size of uh, Huntington Beach. And here's the restaurant right here. Then see this little bridge here. Once we cross that bridge, we're in the in the tournament area. See over on the right. <sighs> Gotta go up over this bridge. Dog here, he was taking a nap. Sorry about that. <laughs> and we got this nice little trail, and straight out is the surfing. Everywhere you look, there's a dog resting. A little guy over there. Beautiful day today. Thursday. Gonna have round three. Just started, run the first heat. Jordy Smith and Michael February. Jordy Smith ranked fifth in the world right now. Saw him and oh, here's another one of our friends. How you doing? And so Jordy the night before last in a restaurant, actually eating dinner with Michael February, both from South Africa, and they're in this first heat together. There's a little outdoor, I don't know if it's a restaurant, but it's what I'm serving food there. This kind of reminds me of the North Shore of Hawaii, where you go through that little tunnel to get over to uh, Pipeline from Sunset Beach. Here's a soda machine. You might think that's strange me pointing that out, but it's one of the only signs of life <laughs> you see here. And just like the North Shore, we have wild chickens. This little guy. This is where I do my pull-ups every morning. You can see, uh, one of the biggest events in the world. There's not a lot of people around. We'll see a few more down at the end, but I was very, very surprised to see how few people. How you doing, Owen? Good luck. Owen Smith. on his way to his heat. One of the best at this break. There's a nice little uh, pond with lily pads. It's 
See Owen carrying three boards. There's got to be worried about breaking one on a violent beach break, a violent, violent reef break like this. And here we are down at the end. See Owen will be uh, checking in at the tent up there. I think he's going against Joel Parkinson. That should be some heat. Over to the left here, you see the mountains, a couple of homes, really nice view here. Yep, that looks like Tahiti. Where I came from is the downtown area, we call it that. Yeah, I was always uh, wondering about these fires that everybody sets everywhere. and speaking to Commissioner Kieran Perot, ex-world uh, champion tour surfer from two years ago now is the commissioner. And here's the big setup down, down by the uh, event. It's the competitor's tent, first aid, and there's the uh, awards stand ceremony. That's where I like to, to sit in the uh, morning to block the sun. Seem to be the only one up there. And you can see nobody else around. <laughs> People are so friendly. Everybody says hello no matter who you see on the road. And here we are. There's Owen checking in again, over there. And there's my spot right here, on the winner's stand. There's a nice some shade. Anyhow, I'm gonna sign off for now, just to let you know it's really me.